Hello, beautiful. How are oh, you? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me on your show tonight. For this on. night, it's your show. Just tonight, but tonight, <laughs> it's your show. Yeah. I've been on longer than Magic Johnson, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people don't know we work. We work together. In yeah, the we worked yeah. together several times. Yeah. So when, um, when well, was we, the last time I saw you? We just did lip sync battle together right. last right. season, <laughs> and. <laughs> And you know, I'm 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 woman enough to admit uh, that Shaq beat me, but it was very close. It was very. LL had to ask the audience twice, and then they just voted for the person with more meat on him. <laughs> I just can't can't. He just had a foot on me. You know what I mean? He just he just got a foot extra claps. Because we know each other, I I, I thought you wouldn't mind if we shared a dressing room. <laughs> oh. This is me earlier. Yeah, we are good friends. Just Were me we earlier. sharing a dressing? Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited that we have photographic proof that you are a large man, but your ass is normal size, because <laughs> it, it, it is, it's like, it's like there's a black hole sucking the rest of your ass in <laughs> towards the middle. It's like a little... <laughs> uh, Shaq, you got a fun size ass, my friend. Well, you got a fun you. size ass. <laughs> oh, now it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We have something else in common. Tell us about this photo right here. Oh, my God. So this is a picture of me in the sixth grade. And uh, I'm, I'm six feet tall, and I've been that tall since second grade. And as you can see, this girl right here seems like she's standing four or five feet behind me. She's actually hanging off of my arm like a sloth. I'm so much bigger than she is. I'm just dancing, and she's swinging from my bicep. <clears throat> I was a giant, giant kid. And this is me in kindergarten. <laughs> See, and it, it, it looks like you're jumping. You're just standing there while the tiny, there. the tiny Caucasian kindergartners. <laughs> please, please give us the ball, sir. We have some more. <laughs> um, it's weird though, because when you're tall, you know, most of you is proportionate, right? But uh, as in your case, you have a tiny bum. Uh, and I have really little toes. Like, whenever I get a pedicure, the ladies are like, oh, your toes are so small. Um, and I wonder if your toes are normal size or fun size toes. You call those little They're toes? They're little toes. Yeah, no, you can't see my so. baby toe. I can't get them out of these shoes. They're, they're welded to my feet. But my pinky toe is, it's, you know, it's like a math problem. You just look at it to see if it's actually there. Mine too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you were a host for the talk for about six years. Yeah, six years. Six so, seasons on the talk. Yeah. How am I doing so far? Any advice? You're doing great. You know, I mean, there's there are three rules to interviewing somebody. You know, I not only do six years on the talk, but I did five years of a, of a an award winning podcast called Girl on Guy, where I did one on one interviews, and I, I put it to sleep. It's still uh, one of the top podcasts on iTunes, and so I have some great tips for you because I've interviewed right. a lot of people. I did 300 episodes of that show. The first thing is, if you don't know where to start, ask somebody where they were born. Because the fact of the matter is, everybody loves to talk about themselves. And once you kind of take them back to their childhood, they get warm feelings about how they dunked on all, all the tiny white kids in their school, and then they <laughs> gradually, they open up. Um, and then the second thing is, you want your guests to win. You know what I mean? You already won, because you're behind the table, and you got this big-ass hubcap on your hand, and, <laughs> you know, you want, you, you are Winner. So you want your guests to win. That's your job. If they win, you win. High tide raises all boats. And then the third thing is, don't forget to plug their <laughs> man. You got don't. If, if they leave and you didn't plug their, <laughs> they'd be so mad at you. So you know, plug their. <laughs> that's my that's my advice. And also maybe give your ring away if if you feel generous. Everyone knows you're a very busy lady. You have a lot of jobs. So what do you want to plug first? Oh my God. Okay. So I wish I was like one of those auctioneers that I could go really fast, but uh, I just directed my first episode of Criminal Minds. It airs this Wednesday. So much fun. Uh, you can see me every week on Criminal Minds. You can see me on the show, the ninth season of Archer, which just starts in uh, March of 2018, next year. Episodes are streaming now on Netflix. I host a show called Whose Line Is It Anyway on the CW. <laughs> Five seasons of my podcast, Girl and Guy, are on iTunes now, and I directed my very first feature film. It's a thriller. It's called Axis. It is now in rotation. It will be at the Portland Film Festival this weekend, at the Chicago International Music and Movies Festival next weekend, and in Austin the first weekend of December, after which I'm going to have a stroke and die. <laughs>
So we know you directed your first episode. Did you direct yourself, and are you easy to work with? Oh, I'm a diva. I, I stomped away from myself. I slapped myself in the face. No, um, <laughs> you know, I, I really love directing, and a lot of other actors on Criminal Minds have directed. Joe Mantegna's directed, and Matthew Gray Gruber's directed. So, like, there, people are already used to that tempo. But the dope thing, and I don't know if you find this in, in sports, but, you know, we're a team first. So everybody was just rooting for me and they were super supportive and, you know, just put up with me while I, you know, figured it out. I've been directing for a while, but first time on TV, you know, you got to kind of feel your way through. But my, my, the actors on my show were unbelievable and this is a kick-ass episode. I'm really proud of it. So you play an FBI agent. Did I you do. know I was a detective? I did know you were a detective because you were sleuthing around in the cushions in my bedroom looking for... <laughs> 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 it was like Dustin, Dustin put fingerprints on my sofa bed. <laughs> Watch the episode of Criminal Nights. <laughs> I should direct it November 1st on CBS. Thanks for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?